Hello, I'm Mark Bergethel, Environmental Health Supervisor at the Southern Nevada Health District. Today we are going to talk about foodborne illness myths. Myth number one, most foodborne illnesses occur from dining at a restaurant. People are more likely, believe it or not, to get sick from their own kitchen because they don't practice food safety. Cross-contamination is a common source of illness. It occurs when people accidentally mix raw meat and produce. You can prevent foodborne illness in your kitchen. Germs that cause foodborne illness cannot be seen, so it is important to practice food safety whenever you handle food. A few simple steps will decrease the chance of you getting sick. Preventing foodborne illness is very simple. What people need to do is first and foremost wash their hands, then ensure proper cooking temperatures, clean up after they finish cooking, and then make sure all the leftovers are put away immediately after they're done. Myth number two, safe cooking actually prevents foodborne illness. This is also false. Cooking foods to their proper temperatures can reduce foodborne illness, but unless you own a food thermometer and use it, you cannot ensure that food was cooked to the appropriate temperature. Proper food temperatures can be found in most cookbooks and at our website, www.snhd.info. Safe food handling techniques are very important. Keep raw meat and vegetables separate, store meat on the bottom shelf of the refrigerator, Use clean knives and cutting boards between cutting meats and vegetables to avoid cross-contamination. And most importantly, wash your hands frequently when preparing foods. It has been shown that hand washing is the most important prevention in food, foodborne illness. It is also important to thaw frozen food at proper temperatures to keep bacteria at bay. Myth number three, you only need to worry about keeping meat and dairy products cold. Raw or undercooked meat, unpasteurized dairy products, eggs, poultry and seafood are common culprits of foodborne illness, but harmful pathogens can be found in sprouts, fresh cut fruits and vegetables, and unpasteurized juice. Here are a few tips to use while shopping for food. First, inspect meat packages to ensure they aren't torn. Inspect eggs for cracks and check sell-by dates to ensure for freshness. Make sure the grocery store is your last stop and shop the meat, deli, and produce last on your trip through that store. Do not delay getting the food into your refrigerator when you turn home from the grocery shopping. You need to maintain your refrigerator 40 degrees Fahrenheit. The best way to ensure that is to put a thermometer in there and check it frequently. Before preparing the food, you need to rinse produce and remember to cook meat and poultry at two proper temperatures. And finally, clean the cutting boards and utensils thoroughly with hot water and soap. It is estimated that between 60 and 70 percent of foodborne illnesses occur in the home. In fact, most kitchens wouldn't pass a restaurant inspection. Restaurant inspections prevent foodborne illness because we ensure when we go out and inspect a facility that it's following the various regulations and codes that we have in our community. Those regulations and codes focus on four things, hand washing, cooking, cooling, and sanitation within the facility. If a facility is lacking in any one of those four areas, they receive demerits, and those demerits cause a downgrade or if there's enough, a closure of the facility. The Environmental Health Division plays an important role in foodborne illness investigations. When we have identified a possible outbreak, inspectors go to the facility to check to see if the food safety is being practiced. If it is not, then the inspectors will close the restaurant so that other people will not be exposed to the possibility of becoming ill. More safety tips are available at our website, www.snhd.info.